if you are wanting to create your own Google form that will automatically send your teachers feedback um, for your observations, you need to make sure you have a couple of things set up. First, you need to have your Google form of what the information you're going to have. So on this one, you have a question for staff members. Notice that I do not have any staff members listed. I will not need to type them into the Google form. Those will auto-populate with DocAppender. I like to have the date and time, content area, data collected, next steps, artifacts, any of that's up to you how you would like to have those available. Then you will also need to have a Google folder that you've given a title and listing out a blank document for each teacher. So here you can see I have a kindergarten teacher AMB, a first grade teacher AMB, second grade new teacher. In this document, I just create a Google Doc. You can add titles to this if you want to, or it can just be a blank document. Those are your choices. Now it's here. Once I have those created, I will go to my walkthrough document, and I need to click on the add-ons, and I need to go to DocAppender. If I don't have that add-on, I can look at the three, but the three buttons Click get on at get add-ons and add DocAppender as the add-on. So when I select DocAppender, it should come up open sidebar. If some reason yours just says DocAppender and help, just close it, refresh the page, relaunch the add-in, and then click open sidebar. When you open it up, step one is to find your total your target doc folder. So this is where I would search for a folder. Mine is the fake teacher docs. Yours would be probably teacher walkthroughs, whatever you want. Find where you have saved that in your Google Drive and select that folder. Then click next. The doc pick your question. Mine is going to be the staff member. And then you can include all of the above if you might do walkthroughs on everyone at once or not. Your choice and save auto populate the question. You'll notice that when I do that, those teachers that I, the different teacher names that were in the documents in that folder have now set up as options here. And then I can click next. And this is which questions for my form will get written on those individual docs. I didn't have the timestamp because I'm going to enter the date and time of my observation. So that would allow me, if I did an observation on paper for some reason one day, I could go back and put it into this form instead of just doing the time step. I don't need staff member because I'm already choosing that. Um, so for me, I just had the date, time, content area, next steps, and the pictures. The format that I liked the best was that ver separate vertical tables that puts a separate table in for each observation. You do have the option to have just a bulleted list for each one or rows in a horizontal format feel like the separate vertical tables works the best, but your choice. It will run automatically whenever your form submits. And then save changes. There, your form is ready to go. The only other thing you'll want to do is go back to your folder with for each teacher and make sure you share access for with teacher B to there. So you would just be file, share, and make sure the teacher that you have it would have access probably with commenting. Um, it's up to you if you want them to be an editor, but they could delete things. So I would probably give them commenting that way. The teachers can give feedback back or you can just give them viewing access your choice. Anyway, I hope that makes your job as an admin just a little bit easier where you can have a walkthrough tool. This could be saved as a link on your cell phone so that you can just have it right there on your phone as you're doing your walkthroughs to quickly collect the data and share it out with teachers. If there's any other thing we can do to help you, please reach out to the Tech Teach Grow team. Thanks.